Well, hey there, buzzards. Today we're going to show you just how easy it is to order from us in multiple different ways. Then you too can be carefree and laughing near a book like this Wish.com version of Gianni and Donatella Versace. Are you ready? Let's get to it. The first method is to simply call us at 206-436-2960 during business hours. We'll be happy to either search the stacks for a used copy or help you order a new one. This is a very direct option and we love hunting for stuff. If your phone actually looks like this, we may not be able to help you as we do not currently accept orders from mid-century Germany. The second method is to use our simple online order form found at koothbuzzer.com slash order online. Just enter your information into the form and someone will contact you as soon as possible. Much like this penny farthing, it is rudimentary but effective and probably not doing you any favors with potential suitors. Well, humbug, who needs a suitor when you can get a tutor? <laughs> We're still workshopping that joke. Using those two previous methods, all profits go directly to Cooth Buzzer. But we know you like to support other businesses who are helping indie bookstores get a leg up on big box stores and corporations. And that's where Bookshop and Libro come in. We make a percentage from sales that take place on those sites. On our Bookshop storefront, clicking on a title takes you to its page, where you can learn more details, see reviews, and read more about the author. Some books are even available as ebooks that you can read on one of those newfangled devices, you trendy little fop you. And with Libro, you can cut the audible cord and enjoy DRM free audiobooks and bookseller curated recommendations. Listen in the car, sneakily at your desk, or while binging police procedurals and having candy for breakfast in bed at 3 p.m. because you're an adult in a pandemic and nothing matters. And of course, there's always that evergreen option of coming in, saying hey, getting a cookie and something to drink, and chatting it up with all the people you run into at your local version of Cheers, the Cooth Buzzard. Hello, uh, this is Sarah. I hope you can hear me. Just getting uh, getting set up with the musicians. We want to thank you so much, those of you who are watching. Uh, this is the Cooth Buzzard. You will see on the bottom here that there is a link to our GoFundMe. Um, we've had some cancellations due to COVID and a couple of other bumps in the road this month. So any donation is appreciated. And I maybe set myself up for failure here, but I did promise to write a poem for anyone that did a donation. So I've got 12 to write, and uh, I will write one for you if uh, if you make a donation in any amount on there. And I am, I'm well, I'm a published erotic poet, but I'm not going to write erotic poetry. But I, I'm published, so it's not like I'm, you know, just going to give you go, dog, go. All right. Well, if you're so inclined, give a little donation in here. Um, we are very excited to have the Village Folk Duo here. They've come for our open mics before. They um, are filling in on some short notice, and we're so happy to have them and hear their wonderful music again. Uh, so it will be my pleasure to introduce them, Village Folk Duo. Give it up. Thank you. So we have Philip and Birgit Age, and they are um, we, um, he was born in Holland in the Netherlands, he would correct me, and I was born in Germany. And we play music from all over Europe. So he's here from Northern Germany. And I got this uh, from uh, uh, Jens Peter Müller wrote this. He's from the town of Grasgeren. Grasgeren. So, uh, yeah. yeah. By Hanover. <laughs> and it's Kalkunterbund, which means collage, sort of like this place here. Right, <laughs> yeah.
Yeah. We played this oh. tune since 1989 is when we got this tune in Germany. And the story behind this is, is that we were playing at a, a square, um, town square in Ravensburg in southern Germany, not Rotenburg, it's called Ravensburg. And we met one of the musicians from this group and he was doing children's books, illustrations for children's books, studying in Ravensburg. And he gave us this tune. So people give, pay you money, pay you tips, and then the people pay you with tunes. <laughs> so, uh, yeah. And another turn to do from around the subject. This is not a sing-along. Well, we're trying to look at yeah. those. Since uh, spring was here, now it's summer. Yeah. We're going to, uh, we had a pretty wet spring, but um, anyway. Yeah, look at the audience. And <laughs> so this is a, this is a traditional spring song or pruning sleep. And <coughs> you probably know the tune. Yeah. Other vogels in Sean Da. So um, we usually alternate with melody and the singing and harmony lines. So if you hear something different, it's probably a harmony line. Oh, or you might hear a, you might hear a bird. Yeah, <laughs> he does a pretty good imitation. Yeah. We do an instrumental in between the vocals. eventually but we try to stick to a couple of them at a time so um this is um mm -hmm. yeah okay okay mm. okay
Israel. Um, I started folk dancing straight out of high school in the 70s. And this was then I couldn't remember the dances unless I heard the tune. And a lot of people, folk dancers, didn't remember the dances until they learned the tune, heard the music. And so um, I thought it'd be nice to have a tape of all the music that we dance to and then you can review it at home, right, without... And so the 92 CD was actually created for that. That's the first one on the... That's the one in the middle, actually, the blue one. And this tune is on that CD. The other two tunes were on, on the, um, the nice the thing, CD. Uh, the nice thing about... Well, both of... Dirkin and I started folk dancing back in... Uh, in the 70s, in the 80s. 70s. Yeah. Early 80s, uh, late, yeah, late 70s. And <laughs> the thing about it is that it introduces you to all the different countries and all the music, and the, and it broadens your perspective of, of and an appreciation for music. And it's it's one of these things that helps broaden your perspective and say, hey, well, you know, all these other countries have beautiful music. Why, why don't we just why do we Enjoy limit it. ourselves? Why do we limit ourselves? Mm -hmm. So, we can be so this one is called Semar Ati. This is.
just to that song. Yeah. And uh, now we're going to Sweden, and way up north in Sweden, and they, there was a sawmill, and they had to get the lumber down to the river, and so they had these trains, and uh, I, I, I What's this? Know. The sawmill, it had a regulator that was not, was, was kaput. And the steam engine. <laughs> <laughs> and so they said, the cars are coming, and they said, out. get out of the way, and <laughs> it's, it's, it's before it blows its cool. So it's the second time it's called
and chicken dance, you know. <laughs> we don't have to say that one right now. You all know that. <laughs> So, oh, okay. how about what well, you have in mind? And then I'll be with that Paloma in Spanish, right? So, yeah. Yeah. People are recognizing mm -hmm. So, this is a medley of some more popular tunes called La Paloma, and my other fiddler calls it Spanish rice. <laughs> we'll medley the two tunes. <laughs>
completely different. Yeah. <laughs> this is Eastern Europe. And there is a movie called My Big Fat Greek Wedding, where you have the line dances and they go around in a circle and they go around forever and ever and and they chat and visit with each other, just a separate kind of thing. And um, called the Les Nodo. Um, are we going to do that? Yeah, what are we going to do? Here's some, here's some okay, but we're doing a Greek tune that was composed in Chicago and went back to Greece. <laughs> and we did it at Folk Life with a big, life, big band. It was a lot of fun. So, if you, I don't know if it's okay to dance here or not. Which <laughs> <laughs> was my it, big fat Greek wedding. And, and, uh, that's so right. Uh, and yeah, usually this, so tune, this tune. tune you usually dance about five or ten minutes, you know, as long as it's... 20. Right. Mm -hmm. Okay. And you if you want to be known for me, Mizzalu, you want to wind up that playing for a belly dance with School of Life. <laughs> with us and showed us how to interpret the dances so it's quite a treat. <laughs> Thank you. 
I changed the tone. Oh. So it so it low kinda, and high to yeah. demonstrate. to Sweden. <laughs> and the only so, other tune we know we're getting, actually... We're getting cultural whiplash. <laughs> <laughs> so, um, so this is a, a circle dance and it was composed by the leader of ABBA, Benny oh. Anderson, and he composed it for his wife, Mona, and it, it, it's really graceful and elegant dance. And you can visualize the circle dancing with your partner for eight hours and then moving around. When I was a little girl, we had to visualize. My, we lived on Beethoven. My mother loved Beethoven. We would do classical music and we opened the windows and blare the music as loud as we could and we listened. And we had to visualize like the river with the Moldau and things like that. And so um, it, I always tell people you have to visualize with the music. Circle of couples in the big dance hall, the ladies on your left if you want to dance with her, and you progress every eight bars. <laughs>
Francisca. Yeah, that's from also England. from Sweden. That's also from Sweden. Yeah. Okay. A different instrument. Okay. There's probably some sing-alongs. I think. Can you do a sing-along on a guitar? Alles Vögel sitzt schon da. We we well, missed that earlier. Yeah. Really. We did that already. We had that already. <laughs> Um, we had that already. Yeah. 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 Uh, um, back to bus too. Okay. Mm -hmm. Do you happy one? Or? Yeah. <laughs> in German though. We can do it in English too. In German and English? Yeah. Mm -hmm. okay. Okay. So um, the story for this, so this is the concertina. Here, the, the, these are different kinds of accordions, in case you're wondering. This is a piano accordion. It works just like the piano on the right-hand side. Uh -huh. And on the left-hand side, it's nothing but buttons, and it's braille, because I can't see, right? <laughs> <laughs> I don't have a neck long enough to see around it. So this is the rhythm section of the bass. So you have your tonic, and then you have your chords, and you have your and third inside. And then, and then this is a... Uh, Button accordion, it's a different tone. This my accordion is the same tone pushing and pulling. And his accordion is a different tone pushing and pulling. And so these come in I can play in any key. In other words, C F G D G if any, by the way, did anybody figure out the keys I was playing on the other tune earlier today? <laughs> okay, D, it, it, D G C and F. Just in case. A little background about this tune. Happy Wonder, or Mein Vater war ein Wandersmann, was composed actually in the 1950s. And there was a group from Germany that was in a, it was a, song it was, it was in a song, uh, it was a chorus competition and they were, they won first prize in Wales, in the town of, Klangochlen, Wales. <laughs> See, I can say Klangochlen. I hired him out as an impersonator. <laughs> and, and then the, the, the people who wrote it, I think they, they wrote the English words to it too, so it became world famous. It started with, uh, with uh, my father Van Wandersman to, uh, you know, to Happy Wonder. Yeah, so it came to the States in the Midwest, in the polka days, you can look at the Remember the sound of music? 
-hmm. and Herr von Pfaff and Fräulein Maria were doing the Lendler. Well, this is a similar tune, but it's from the valley of the Zoa River, or Zillatala Lendla. Oh. And, and it's, um, it's um, oh, an old that? folk dance, and what happened is the musicians forgot, it was the teachers were teaching the dance at a festival in Laguna, California, actually. And it's always, is it Schwantala Ho or Zillatala Lendla? the original tune. In this case, it's Fran Tala Hoha. And it's, um, you just slow it down. It's, they said, use this tune to slow it down a little bit. So, so it's a German tune to an Austrian dance. I, I love it when things are Multicultural. Right. Am I too loud? You're dealing with accordions. It's hard to hear, right?
said, well, I need to have a theme for Laura's theme. Can you, th Maurice, can you think of a, can you put this, you know, can you write this for me? And he said, think of your wife and how beautiful she is. Next day, he had it composed. In 24 hours, he just, boom. It's like, the, you know, it's like inspiration just, boom. It works miraculously. So. Thank you. 
coming out. <laughs> Thank you. Okay. Thank you. Okay. So, um, at this point, we sort of take requests <laughs> hmm. from Europe. Um, we haven't done anything Irish yet. Oh, uh, we haven't done anything. How about some Scottish road to the Isles? Yeah, how about that? I was talking to my best um, Scottish folk. Uh, <laughs> you have the music? Um, no, I think it's pretty well. Yeah, okay. We played folk life the first time in two years. And it's a big music festival in town, and they, they do an amazing job pulling it off every year with the volunteers. Mm -hmm. And nobody, everybody donates their time except for the sound people and a few other places. The vend food vendors get hit made. I don't know how much money they made this year because it rained the whole time. <laughs> Are you two playing Lemon No, this was a tour plan. So the next place we play is at Midsummer Fest. And then at the Swedish Club on July 15th for the meatball dinner. <laughs> so, and, um, yeah, we do private parties. We're available for any event you want to bring up. And we try to be reasonable and not gouge people. <laughs> but, um, so this is visualized being in the Scottish countryside over with your dog and a, a hat on and a, and a, a backpack. The right sun through the head of Yeah, <laughs> hiking through the countryside. And if you don't understand the lyrics, that's because it's poetic. <laughs> <laughs> Shokarin, 
No, no, there's a no, no, sorry. No, we'll, we'll work on that. This is a um, Swedish tune, it's called a mazurka. You also borrowed mazurka. Yeah, but it's really not a mazurka. <laughs> it has a little mouth in it and it's, and it's a certain beat to it, but it's, um, it's what else to do with an accordion besides polka music. <laughs>
Um, and um, we, we played, we were basking at the farmer's market in Helsinki, and um, they, um, they were so impressed, one of the guys there had, was so impressed that he went to his girlfriend who worked at the yeah. bakery to be, gave us a loaf of bread. <laughs> so I don't have any money to give you, but he came back and gave us a loaf of bread. He said, you guys are American, you... Amazing. He was the impressed by you? Americans doing Finnish music. <laughs> So we're running pretty close to break time here, uh, our, at the end of our first set. Mm -hmm. yeah. So we should end on a finish time for me. Yeah, or? okay. Mm -hmm. So this oh. is another one. Yeah. I um, uses all the dimensions of this accordion, and that's why I love this tune. <laughs> It, uh, it's a uh, tango from Lapland, and we promised we did do music from all over Europe earlier, so if you stick around that for our second set, you'll hear more. This is uh, probably going to take a little break after this, but we um, got this tune from some Finnish friends that I sponsored for several years for folk club and other events, and uh, this is a very special tango. Laughing kind of. <laughs>
Thank you for asking, no? <laughs> I say, oh, hi. Mm -hmm. Are you or you on an intermission? A little bit of an intermission. Okay. I have an intermission.
Like, you know what you're talking about. Yeah. Oh, yeah, I know what that is. No, I was uh, watching and, um, things as far as like... Uh, just mute here for a moment. Uh, it's just like, you know, things from... Uh,
down to the next partner in a circle of couples. Yeah, it's, it's from a, Budapest. Yeah, that's yeah. a Hungarian tune. Yeah, Finnish tune. Well, over Thank Hungary. Yeah. Finnish Hungarian. Yeah, there we go.
Twitter. Since Drake we and had, beer. We're drinking beer here. Yeah, yeah. It's, it's for good times. Yeah. Yeah. Why not? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Wie lange werdet ihr spielen? Oh, well, maybe another two or three tunes. <laughs> okay. Okay, back to the button box. <laughs> <laughs> So there's a story to this to this instrument. We got it in bought it in Vienna at a uh, used instrument store on our well our honeymoon more or less. Nineteen eighty nine. Yeah. We've been around the block a couple times. Okay, then I talk or you talk. <laughs> <laughs> you can talk. You're better at it. <laughs> so um I I don't know what's going on here. Okay. okay. You, about it. you got it? Yeah, so so we have it in the train with your we borrow my cousin's uh, boyfriend's accordion and uh, told me after the customs uh, official that walks through, do you have anything to clear? This is before the European time. Union. Yeah, so we said, no, we don't. And he says, come <coughs> with me. So he made us go through the line and unpack everything and, and, uh -huh. and, and, and uh, explain everything. That Chromatic accordion. Yeah, that was This fine. accordion. Yeah. And so we had like two accordions in, in, but in bo boxes on top of And it. it was like, oh my God, the exchange rate was like, what was it, 2,000 shillings? Oh, wow. Mm -hmm. That was like about 150 bucks, <laughs> you know, for an yeah. instrument. So I was like, oh man, it made it, what a great deal. And the other one was like another $150. And so I just made out like a bandit dude, with two <laughs> instruments. <laughs>
the town, like by Mannheim, and, and there's Plotzheim, and there's Sinsheim, and then Bullenheim is way on the other side of Germany, so in, Park Belgium, and, yeah, in, in northern Bavaria, so it's yeah. kind of weird. <laughs> Long history. Yeah. <laughs> Okay. So what we could do is start the county down as an ending tune. Okay. Okay. We were playing the fairies a long time ago. Our friend Tanya Oakland and Dale and they they were playing the fairies and they they um, asked us to fill in for them. And so the, that's how we got started playing the fairies. And Kuntafut was our starting tune, and Star is our ending tune. <laughs> This has been the folk, the village folk duo. That's still and here. I didn't want to walk in front of here because I was thinking.